And welcome back in everybody, more shoe and tell with Sam Wise. And we are going over the hardest tanking shoes of the year of 2023 so far. Because some have been of heavy profit and some have been of heavy, heavy garbage. Absolute trash, my friends. I'm trash. And so we're just going to go straight into the chase. And we're going to start out with pair number one, which is the Jordan 1 High OG Lucky Green. And they're going for about 40 50 average under retail there's a lot of hype going into these you know some oh well you know celtics not chicago bull colorway because you simply replace you know those red with the uh, green or you know replace the taxi colorway with the green but it did not do any good my friends i mean we're talking just straight down in value sat on the shelves for a couple weeks oh pick me oh i know i know me, me. Number two, my favorite personal designer. I love him to death. I mean, he's a great guy, great designer, great work. Joey Fresh Goods released full package with New Balance, two pairs of low 610s, and then one pair of high boots beneath the surface. And unfortunately, those are going for approximately $80 beneath retail. No, 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 no. You know, I had uh, good expectations for him. I wanted to have belief, good faith. But, you know, I have a question if Joey is falling off wagon because his last couple releases have not done too hot. Number three, the Mystic Big Red Boot. Now, it was selling for, I mean, $1,500 when it came out. And now we're seeing those go $100 beneath retail. And I think it's most of all, no one wants to look like a clown. They see all the hype is dead about it. No reason for me to wear these red boots out in public and pay any sort of pricing for them when I could just be wearing some nice Jordans, some nice Yeezys, or even Dunk Pandas because I'd look better in those than these big red clown boots. Number four, the Jordan 12 Retro Special Project Amaniers. Now, they're going 60 to $70 below retail, and it's very unfortunate because there's some really nice shoes, nice quality, nice look, nice fit, everything. They came in woman's sizing, but I mean, they were so much in stock and so many sizes up and down that even if you were a men's size 13, they released so many women's sizes that you could have gotten them in your own size. But that doesn't scratch the topic that they decrease significantly in value and you can get them way below retail on StockX or any any website you really check and they went straight to the garbage like the other pairs that we're talking about here you know number five I had these I had to sell them immediately so I wouldn't lose my money and I wanted wanted to keep them but you know there's too many in stock it's the Yeezy 350 Volume 2 Carbon Belugas. Now they're 20 to $30 below retail. And I mean, if you sell them on StockX, then you're going to lose a significantly amount more than 20 to $30 because you got to pay the fees, everything like that. Now, selling any Yeezys underground is always the better route to go. It can be done exactly how I want it. As long as you know they're authentic, you don't have any problems with the buyer then easy money you can at least break even at all times i just wonder how hard are they dying out and it was horrible horrible shipping horrible customer service double charges throughout and i just easy day is going to be very very unattractive for a lot of people that had the same experience this year in 2023 with them number six the jordan one retro high og white cement now these, they tanked even harder than the Lucky Green. They're going 50 to $60 below retail. And when you went out to get them, you had your expectations heavily, heavily failed. I mean, it is a bad, bad shame. I, I feel it. I feel the pain for those. I mean, because even the lows right now that just released, they're going higher for the Number seven, Adidas Bad Bunny Response. Now, these recently released, and Bad Bunny, he has been going up and down, but mostly down with these Adidas releases. And I don't think people are buying into them as much. They may sell out, but as soon as they sell out, you can get them for below retail on StockX, up to $20 to $30 usually. 
and Bad Bunny sneakers, they've just been losing the resale hype and value. I mean, maybe he's not dropping as much music or maybe he's going too much into WWE. Smackdown versus Raw, you know, I don't know what it is, but Adidas is still seeking their long-term answer. Number eight, the Yeezy 350 Volume 2 Compact Slate Pandas. Now these are 30 to 40 dollars below retail, and the Yeezy fans they've already stacked and grown collections. By the time these drop, they were already getting disappointed with all the customer service, the double charges, everything. I mean, like I said, this Yeezy day was just horrible releases. Absolutely zero chance of you guys ever, ever, ever having a successful career. Horrible shipping, horrible services, horrible charges. It just got worse and worse. And then you check StockX and when you see there's no profit in any of these shoes, you gotta love them personally. Number nine, the Nike Dunk Low Tartan Plaid. Now these are shamefully $40 below retail and they were the first dunk of 2023. I actually had these, returned them to the Nike outlet because I knew there was no profit in them. And these are one of the worst reselling dunk lows I've ever seen in my entire life. Help me! Help me! They're absolutely just dreadful. No profit at all. You better return them or just wear them. Wear them hard. Save them for a Christmas photo. The Terminator low. Michigan colorway come in at number 10. Now all Terminators, they have not been doing well. Doesn't matter high or low. The resale value has been tanking dramatically. The look, they try to uh, replace a dunk low or maybe a Jordan 1 low and it's just not working out for them. Opportunity with a minute to play. Number 11, the Adidas Forum 84 low. Bape blue camo. Now Bape, People think all you gotta have is that screaming shark to sell out in blue camo. And that's not really working anymore. It used to, and there was great resale and hype behind every single release, but now they're just not having as much resale, not really high profit margins. If anything, a lot of the times you're taking losses. A fault, a lost. Now I rest. 2023. Had some ups and downs, but all these shoes that I've listed, these are heavy, heavy downs. Doesn't mean they're not dope, so if you want to cop them, just go to StockX. All of them below retail, you can get yourself a deal. It's up to you, man. So, maybe we'll have some of the most profitable shoes coming up on Shoe & Tell with Sam Wise.